Ever feel that afternoon slump hit you like a ton of bricks, especially after lunch? Or maybe you've noticed your waistline expanding, even when you feel like you're not eating that much more. These aren't just random signs of getting older. They could be whispers from your body about a silent problem that's at the root of so many modern health issues. Insulin resistance. So what exactly is it? Imagine insulin is like a key. When you eat, your body breaks down food into glucose, which is your cell's main source of energy. Insulin's job is to unlock your cells, your muscle, fat, and liver cells, to let that glucose in. But with insulin resistance, it's like the locks on your cells get rusty. They stop responding to the key. The glucose can't get in, so it just hangs around in your bloodstream, causing your blood sugar to rise. Now your body is smart. It sees all this extra glucose floating around and thinks, we need more keys. So your pancreas goes into overdrive, pumping out more and more insulin to try and force those stubborn cell doors open. This is a state called hyperinsulinemia. For a while, this brute force method works, but it puts an incredible amount of stress on your pancreas and your entire system. It's like constantly yelling at someone who isn't listening. Eventually, you're just going to get exhausted. What causes this cellular deafness? It's a perfect storm of modern life. Overeating, especially processed foods and sugar, floods your system. A sedentary lifestyle means your biggest glucose users, your muscles, aren't asking for fuel. That stubborn belly fat or visceral fat isn't just sitting there. It's an active organ pumping out inflammatory signals that make the resistance even worse. And don't forget chronic stress and poor sleep. Even one bad night can mess with your glucose control the next day by raising stress hormones like cortisol. This isn't just about feeling tired, this is serious. When your body can't control blood sugar anymore, you're on the fast track to type 2 diabetes. It also messes up your cholesterol, raises your blood pressure, and all these things together are known as metabolic syndrome. It's a vicious cycle. High insulin tells your body to store more fat, which in turn causes more insulin resistance, which leads to even higher insulin. See the problem? But here is the most important part. This is not a life sentence. You have the power to break the cycle. It's not about some extreme diet or punishing workout plan. It starts with small daily choices. Try a 10-minute walk after your meals. It helps your muscles soak up that glucose right away. Add more fiber to your diet from things like vegetables, beans, and whole grains. Prioritize getting 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep. Find a stress reduction practice that works for you, whether it's deep breathing, yoga, or just spending time in nature. Insulin resistance is a warning sign, not a final diagnosis. By listening to your body and making these simple, consistent changes, you can resensitize your cells, break the vicious cycle, and take back control of your metabolic health. It's about making your life